Hi, this is Debo, your health coach, and the question of the day is all about iron and how much we need in our bodies. And the particular question, how much iron do female athletes need on a daily basis to stay healthy? And I'll answer that question, I'll give you some health and nutrition tips on how to make sure that the iron that we get daily keeps us in tip-top shape. But before I do that, I'm going to give you a little lesson on iron and why it's an essential mineral. So it may be review for some of you, or it may be new. So either way, here you go. The main reason that we need iron is because it helps to transport oxygen throughout the body. Iron is an important component of hemoglobin, which is a part of your red blood cells. And red blood cells pretty much carry the oxygen from your lungs to the working muscles and organs throughout your body. What happens if you're not getting adequate oxygen delivery is you're going to become very fatigued. It can affect your, um, your activity level. You can feel lethargic. If you're an athlete, your performance may suffer. It can affect brain function and it can also uh, affect your hair, your skin, your nails. So how much iron do we need? That depends on your age, your gender, your activity level. Kids actually need more iron than adults because they're growing so rapidly. So kids age four to eight need about 10 milligrams a day. Kids nine to 13, as well as adult males from 19 to 50, only need about eight milligrams a day. Women 19 to 50 need about 18 milligrams a day. Whoa, that number shot way up there. Why is that? Well, there was a study in 2011 of collegiate rowers in New York State, and it found that the females were pretty deficient in their iron. And they attributed that to three things. First, they attributed it to they were losing blood every month due to their period. Number two, high intensity exercise can actually destroy red blood cells. And that's not a bad thing, I'll explain that in a second. The other, the third reason is that these athletes were focused on lean, vegetarian, and natural foods. And those are great, but as an athlete, we wanna make sure that we are getting the nutrients that we need to properly fuel our body. Why does high intensity exercise destroy red blood cells? Basically what happens when we are doing endurance sports like running, biking, or swimming, the red blood cells in the body are destroyed. But what keeps our performance level at peak is, and this is a natural thing that happens, is at the same rate that the red blood cells are destroyed, new red blood cells are being created. And we actually want this to happen because the younger, newer, fresher red blood cells can deliver the oxygen more efficiently. So if we are not getting the proper nutrients that we need to fuel our body to keep the oxygen transport and the iron um, throughout the body, that's when the performance suffers. And I mentioned that uh, the lean vegetarian and natural foods can affect. Now again, these are great dietary theories, you know, lifestyles to have, but again, you want to make sure that you are getting the proper nutrients. So animal products that have iron can be absorbed in the body uh, 14 to 18%, I believe, while plant products, the iron is absorbed in the body from only 5 to 12%. So that's why things like red meat and seafood, particularly clams, are actually really great sources. But vegetarian, we've got spinach, we've got beans and legumes, also very healthy. Where else can you find iron in foods? There are certain foods that are fortified. I'm not a fan because fortified is also another word for processed, which we can talk about that later. However, if that's your only option, you wanna get it. Oh, and also, if you are vegetarian getting from plant sources, you want to think about making sure you also get enough um, adequate vitamin C. So, to recap, what can you do to make sure that your iron levels are good in terms of your nutrition? You want to make sure that you have a healthy diet uh, with healthy iron-rich foods like the red meat, the seafood, the dark leafy greens like spinach, beans and legumes. You may want to avoid things like coffee or tea. Those tend to affect our iron levels and a simple blood test from your doctor will let you know if you are deficient in iron. Supplementation is an option, but again, talk to your doctor about it because iron, too much of it, not necessarily a good thing, especially from supplements. 
So there you have it. If you have any other questions about why we need iron in the body, where to get it, feel free to reach out to me. My email is debo at debraoringer.com. Please feel free to comment and share on Facebook. I would love it if you did. And if you have any questions, again, reach out to me because that's how this blog and all the information that I share gets out there is because of all of you guys that follow and are curious. And I really appreciate you watching. Thanks so much and bye for now.